Alberta's got public schools, private schools, charter schools, and Catholic schools. But there's a new kind of school that's been popping up across the province. Have you ever heard of collegiate schools? That's what this is. I'm here at STEM Collegiate, which is the only collegiate school in Edmonton. It just opened for students in grades seven to nine. Let's go take a look. From 3D printers to a laser cutter, this middle school is all about science and technology. Those subjects drawing Emmett Ali to study here. I thought that'd be a good, uh, good things to learn for the future. Right? And it opens up a lot of career paths. Collegiate schools are specialized schools with ties to post-secondary institutions, and they're designed to give students clear paths to careers. Students can't earn college credits here yet, but they will once STEM Collegiate opens a high school. The provincial government allocated more than $15 million to collegiates last year and gave out 11 one-time grants for their applications. Some schools like this one have their own building, but others are running within existing schools. The new model isn't without its critics, who warn about equity issues and dividing students, and about the dangers of committing to careers at a young age. STEM Collegiate's founder isn't worried about that, since students study the humanities too. School principal Michael Kierstead sees the link to post-secondary and industry as an advantage for students. That there's perhaps don't have to do as much catch-up and there may be a further ahead than other kids coming from other jurisdictions. This grade 7 student is already thinking about his future career. I really want to be a medical researcher, find cures for people that need it. And he hopes this school helps him get there. Though about a dozen collegiate schools have been approved by the province over the last couple of years, some of them have not yet opened to students. They're testing out courses, looking for space, waiting on funding, with the goal of welcoming students in the spring or next year. Madeline Cummings, CBC News, Edmonton.